Lately, you probably have heard something about a room temperature superconductor. If this room temperature superconductor is real, the world will change forever. From improving levitating trains to quantum computers. And also the scientists would instantly get a Nobel Prize for the discovery. In the second part of the video, I explain all this. But what even is a superconductor? First, we have to understand what a conductor is. A conductor is an object or material that allows a flow of charge to pass through. Think of wires, for example. Through wires, electrons flow to generate an electrical current. As you may know, some materials are better conductors than other materials. For example, metals are good conductors compared with wood or glass. Silver is the most conductive material, but mostly copper or aluminium are used in electronics because of the high price of silver. The difference in conductivity is due to resistance. High resistance means lower conductivity and low resistance means high conductivity. Resistance is a loss of energy, most of the time this is in the form of heat. When electrons flow through a wire, they collide with the nuclei of the material. This causes vibrations, which translates to heat. Most of the time this energy loss is unwanted. If you want to deliver energy by wires, you don't want energy loss. This means you are wasting energy because the wires get hot. And here is where superconductors come in. As the name suggests, a superconductor is super good at conducting electricity. It is so good, it has no resistance below a certain temperature and thus no energy loss. For example, an electrical current through a loop of superconducting wire can persist indefinitely without a power source. In addition, superconductors have special magnetic abilities. They are diamagnetic, which means they have no magnetic field inside themselves. In other words, this just means you can float a superconductor on a magnet. But back to the special conducting powers. The zero resistance of a superconductor is only possible when it is cooled to a very low temperature. This low temperature means we can't really use superconductors in electronics for everyday use because cooling systems are expensive and bulky. This is why superconductors are now barely used anywhere. But why do they only work at those cold temperatures? Let's zoom in and find out. In regular conductors, electrons move and collide with the nuclei, resulting in an energy loss in the form of heat. But in superconductors, two electrons are paired together in a so-called Cooper pair. These pairs of electrons are special because they form a condensate with all the other pairs. This condensate with all the Cooper pairs move in the same direction at the same speed. It is essentially one big particle made out of electron pairs. Because it all works together, one collision with the nucleus and an electron won't be enough energy to break this big particle, resulting in zero resistance. But if the nuclei vibrates more, this happens if you increase the temperature, then there are more collisions and it breaks the condensate of Cooper pairs. That's why superconductors only work at super low temperatures. On the 22nd of July 2023, two scientific papers were released claiming they found the world's first room temperature superconductor. In the papers they said to have a superconductor called LK99 that works up to 127 degrees Celsius at normal pressure. And you could make it with pretty basic materials. This would be very exciting news if the claims were real. But the two papers were very vague, hastily written and not peer reviewed. So we don't know if LK99 is real and how it achieves its superconductive powers at room temperature. But why is a room temperature superconductor going to change the world? Let's look at the future to see what we can expect if LK99 is real. One example could be portable MRI scans. Nowadays, MRI scans use superconductors for its diamagnetic properties, but they need to be cooled down. If we have a room temperature superconductor, the MRI scan could be much smaller, even making it portable. Also, levitating trains could be far easier and cheaper to build. And superconducting trains can be 40% faster than levitating trains with magnets only. If you are enjoying the video so far, please consider subscribing. As a small creator, everything helps and I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Or store energy in the loop of superconducting wire with zero energy loss. 
instead of traditional batteries. It could be used as emergency backup energy when there is a sudden loss of power. And this would be a good step forward to wasting less energy and creating a more sustainable earth. Superconductors are also important for nuclear fusion reactors. In a nuclear fusion reactor, particles are forced together to generate energy. It's the same mechanism our sun uses. To confine these particles, magnetic fields from superconductors can be used. However, because the superconductors need to be cooled so much, it costs more energy than the nuclear reaction itself delivers. But again, if we can use room temperature superconductors, this problem would be over and we can generate net power. Or think of quantum computers, they also use superconductors but could be far more efficient and faster if they don't need to be cooled down to such low temperatures. All in all, a room temperature superconductor would change the world in so many different ways. The future will show us if LK99 is so good as it sounds or if it is a fake discovery. Nevertheless, superconductors are awesome and room temperature superconductors even more. Thanks for watching.